best macaroni and cheese in the country. I don't know if that's true or not. My kids always like the craft for 69 cents a box. There's a street guy. Blue man. Now, if you come down here on your own, and I would encourage you to do so, give yourself a couple of hours to wander through here. There's lots to see, lots to do. And from here, you can take an elevator that goes right down to the waterfront. Oh, you don't have to walk all the way around. Just me now, and my dog. Just mm -hmm. There are no chain stores in the market, with one big exception, and unfortunately, this truck's parked right in front of it. But that's the original Starbucks. Oh, oh really? 1971, that one opened. Oh, really? And inside, it's configured pretty much the way it was when it first opened. And there's always musicians and singers in front of that building. Um, <laughs> um, did you go street to sing as here on buskers? We have uh, there's 12 different stations for buskers, buskers. in the mall oh, yeah. or in the uh, in the market. Rather. Yeah, but evidently they're not as tough as they look because they're not out today. <laughs> There are lots of great little restaurants inside the market. If you're looking for something a little higher end and you're down here, then I can recommend Edda's here on the right, and also Cutter's on the left. They're hiring restaurants. They're owned by a chef and restaurateur named Tom Douglas. He owns quite a few restaurants throughout the Seattle area, five or six of them. Now, when settlers first came to Puget Sound in the 1850s, each adult was given half a section of land. And where we're at right now, this is Belltown, and this is where William Bell got his half a section. That's half mile by a mile. Really? 